Shiver me timbers, we're back. Jason and Alexis in the morning, <laughs> right here on my talk. Everything entertainment, everything Whoopi Goldberg. What the hell? I know, Whoopi. I know. Yeah, here we go again. We're going to find love? Well, I I don't know about that. <laughs> Get your act together. We will, Whoopi. We're we finding will. love. Just here saying we it. Go. Here we go. I'm not. Remember, I was positive. <laughs> you were. I haven't been positive about this segment in seven years. <laughs> I was positive. I was positive. When was it, Dawn? Tuesday? Yeah. And yeah. it was a disaster. Oh, can I give a quick update on her? By yeah. the way, she yes. was very shy, if you remember. Mm-hmm. So the very next day I talked to her and she, which was yesterday, yeah. she <laughs> said that she, it really made her realize how shy she was because she listened back and oh. she actually called somebody on Bumble that day and went out on another date oh, because she good. wants to force herself to get back into dating. She's not giving up. And then she signed up for um, a course that's about public speaking and building confidence. Oh, wow. So she's okay. doing really well, guys. Now, she see, already went happy. out on a date. Now, see, that's Again. happy. Wow. See, Take now that's action. positive. And now the whole day is going to turn around right about now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well. There we go. You should have told that story at the end. <laughs> you probably should have done, but that's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for Second Chance Romance, where the three of us knuckleheads go looking for love in the back of an alley. Oh. Who, uh, who do we have? We have Eric, and he is on the phone with us right now. Hi, Eric. Hey, girl. Hey, mm-hmm. big fan hey. of the show and station. Hey. hey. Well, we like hearing that. Eric, thank you for doing this. First and foremost, we know this isn't fun necessarily. Not everyone wants to be on the radio talk, talking about their dates. Mm-mm. So speaking of your dates, go ahead and tell us your story, my friend. Okay. Um, so anyway, we went, we met online and it was like, almost instant attraction for me. Like, you know, I don't know. You just get those feelings. Uh, Mm -hmm. She's like a little wild. And for -hmm. someone like me, that's like, you know, I hate to say it, I'm kind of boring, but like stable. And her energy was, is like what I think I need. And so I'm a good listener and cheerleader for people in my life. So I just message her right away. Oh, wow. Okay. 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 So far, this sounds great. This sounds great. Yeah. What you guys do? Yeah. Yeah. Um, So remember, I don't know if you guys remember, but a few weeks ago, the weather was just, oh, it was fantastic. Remember? Yeah. Yes. Much much different than today, huh? Yeah, it's awful today. Uh, Yeah. Awful. (laughs) (laughs) So I thought it was like the weather was perfect. So I thought this was a good time just to ask her to go on a walk at um, Edgewater Park in Woodbury. Okay. Okay. Um, Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it takes about an hour to go around the lake, and it was just, like, the setting was just beautiful. It was gorgeous, and we just had a good conversation for the most part. Cool. Okay. Uh, so, okay, that's great. So, <laughs> for the most part. So, um, oh, go ahead. Yeah, so did anything weird happen? Or did you guys talk about something weird, or something happened weird? Uh, so, for the most yeah, part. Yeah, this is where yeah. I think I pretty much scared <laughs> <laughs> um all right so i usually don't bring up kids on a first date but um this is i don't know it just felt a little different because we were like sharing so much and you just got that connection that feeling so anyway i told her i want to start a family soon and i want this for myself but i'm getting a lot of pressure from my mom yeah uh, she's oh. asking all the time about you know is she going to be a grandma? I can't wait to have my grandkids. And um, when she seemed, o- when seemed okay, but I said, kind of joking, and we just continued our walk. Okay. Okay. Did she act weird? Did she jump in the lake? I mean, did she, <laughs> she, she was fine with it when you brought it up, though, you feel like? Yeah. I mean, it was kind of hard to read. I mean, she just kind of like went with it for a second, like, okay, okay, okay you know. Um, yeah. But I mean, I wanted to take her out. <laughs> to lunch but she said she was tired and like wanted to go home so i texted her when i got home and she said you know thank you for the fun date but when i texted her a few days ago um uh, to set up a second one mm. i didn't hear anything back from her oh okay oh. Oh. after asking her for lunch you it was like yeah radio silence yeah okay pretty much Aww. okay um well you know how this works. Dawn told you. We are getting ready to, we're going to, well, we, yep, we have her. We have uh, Gwen on the other line. Now, 
Eric, just to remind you, Gwen only knows that we're calling about a date. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know that it's necessarily about your date. So you're going to hear everything, but we're going to put you on hold, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. She's heard nothing. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, buddy. Okay. (laughs) Oh, God. I was feeling sick earlier, and I'm (laughs) feeling sick again. Okay. Uh Um, I feel like I did in the 6 o'clock hour. Okay, here we go. Okay. Talk to Gwen. Ready? Okay. We're ready. Yeah. I guess. Hi, Gwen. Welcome to the show. You're on the air with Jason and Alexis. Hello. Hey, Gwen. Hi. Hi. Gwen, thank- Hi. Gwen, thank you for doing this. We know yeah. that this is. Yeah. How often are you uh, calling a radio show on a <laughs> Thursday morning? I mean, not often, but I yeah. mean, I heard about this date or whatever, so I'm okay. a little intrigued. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, the date. We won't beat around the bush. The date we are talking, uh, we want to ask you about is your date with Eric. Does that ring any uh, any uh, bells? Oh, Eric. Um, yep. Yes, that guy. Um, uh, yeah, you went uh, on a walk around the lake with him <laughs> in Woodbury. Yeah, it was a really long walk. Um, oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Is there a reason? Well, let me just ask you. Was there a reason you didn't call him back? Because we got the impression our spies, and we have them all over the place. Oh, our my. spies have told us that there wasn't any type of second date. Was there a reason? Yeah. It's just, <laughs> he has like baby fever. So he, we were on this walk. And all he kept talking about was like his mother's like pressuring him with kids and whatnot. And he was talking about how many kids he wanted. And I was just like, oh. and the names, oh my God, it was too much. It was too much. And I'm just like, I'm just not into that. I'm not into having that conversation. I'm not into thinking about that right now. Oh God. So okay. it was just a lot. Um, you know, like one day, one day yeah. in some years, <laughs> yeah. I'll start a family. But like Wait. I told them, like, we're both in our late 20s. Like we have plenty of time to have those conversations. But right now, this is like have fun and like live in the moment. And yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. To, I, to play uh, therapist, mirroring this back, Gwen, I, what I'm hearing is. <laughs> this was just a lot, a damn lot for a first date. Am I hearing you right, it Gwen? It was, yes. Okay. <laughs> it was a whole lot. And okay. <laughs> so you probably... Lot, everything he kept talking about, it literally, like, made me start thinking about my ex-boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> and so oh. I literally, like, all I could think about was him. And next thing you know it, I called him and we, like, hung out. So, you know, that's a whole situation that's kind of starting back up so i just i didn't reach out back to eric because it was just it just wasn't working out oh okay. we weren't messing okay mm. well okay. when uh we're also gonna level with you on something else uh we actually have eric on the other line uh oh my god oh my god, <laughs> oh my sorry. god. okay sorry we really like you but we we did this. We needed you to answer the phone. So yeah, wow. we needed. Okay. Yeah, we, did, we didn't think you'd answer if we just said, "Hey, come on our show." Um, <sighs> Eric, say hi to Gwen. Uh, hey. Hi. Wow. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right. So real quick. So you said, did you say after our date you you hit up your ex? <laughs> yeah, like. Bro, all that talk, like, it just made me think of him. And then, you know, just, I don't know. You reminded me of him. And I just felt inclined to reach out to him. And, yeah, that's that's happening. Oh, you're getting back so, together. Um, you couldn't tell me this in a text. Like, here I am. I'm thinking this is because it's what I said about my mom. And you just. I mean, oh, all yeah. right. Like, it's not even that serious. Okay, look. Uh-huh. First of all, I mean, no response is a response. Oh, you know what I mean. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm okay. not trying to be rude. Uh-huh. And you know what? How about you just need to deal with your mom? Like, tell your mom to back off. Like, mm. or you know, don't tell or don't tell a date on the first, like the first date about 
how your mom's pressuring you. Cause then that all of a sudden just puts pressure on me and of, setting up expectations that I can't meet. So a lot of baby talk, right? On the first date. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm not saying that you didn't have potential and it's, I'm not saying that we can't go out again. I just needed a breather. Mm. What is your ex-boyfriend going to think about that if you go out with uh, Eric here? Uh-oh. Well, I think it's just pretty much <laughs> you just want to have your cake and eat it, too, with your, you know, high school boyfriend Wow, boy, it's not whatever, even. So. Uh-oh. Well, so, but I'm okay. But it's all good. Um, good luck. You know, wish oh. you a wonderful journey in life. And <laughs> well, thank you. Okay. Oh my God. Well, That's like the best. I'm sorry, Eric. <laughs> Oh, all right, Eric. Well, thank you so much for calling us. And there are so many women out there who would your would your mother accept um, a child that isn't your biological child? There are a lot of single moms out there. Would you be okay with that? Um, I don't know. I got to call her. Maybe after this, I'll call her and we'll just talk about it. Who knows right now at this point? Okay. well, thank you. Thanks, both of you. B- bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, Gwen. Sorry. Bye. 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 Jason. <laughs> what the baby noises. It made it sound like we're calling from a daycare. It's <laughs> kind <laughs> of <laughs> Oh, the pressure. No. Oh. He's talking a lot about babies. I wanted I wanted to make him feel at home on our show. Oh, man. Oh, man. He drove him he drove her back to her, her ex. That's Oh, oh God! I hate this segment. Oh, do we have a half price deal? <laughs> do we have a half price deal? I don't think so. Okay. Do we? Okay. Well, thank God we have to do so. a commercial. I usually put it in the grid. But... Okay. Okay. Again, um... I feel just like I did at the bottom of the six o'clock hour. <laughs> but you know what I can do is give reason. away. Well, let's wait. Okay. We, get, we do okay. have Rudolph the Red yeah, Nose Reindeer is... tickets coming oh, wow, up a in transition. a little bit in the next yeah. thirty minutes. <laughs> what a damn transition. <laughs> Bring your babies. Bring your babies. It's great for kids. If you Bring. want to hook up with a single mom, you can probably find one at Rudolph. Yeah. Bring hey. your babies. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a break. When the Jason and Alexis daycare continues, it's the dirt alert.